We're taking over. Then we'll rape your mother, rape your mother, rape your mother. If you guys don't know what happened at Chiller, MJ was very sexually aggressive towards me. There are some things that I guess I, I that we need to clarify, although I, d I really don't understand why exactly they need to be clarified because we've said this stuff like very clear to begin with. Uh, MJ, whatever your fucking last name is, I don't know. I don't even know if that's his real name. You get within arm's reach of us, you'd be a paid for some bitch at the run on them. That's very true. I'm not above using weaponry either. There are certain people out there that we have no, absolutely no control over that are making things out of what we said that we didn't actually say. What he was doing was essentially sexually harassing somebody, and I'm sure that if he could have gotten away with it, he probably would have fucking raped somebody. Neither either one of us nor Lori ever said that she was raped. Probably would have fucking raped somebody. Raped somebody. Raped somebody. Raped somebody. Sean's telling me all this stuff at the convention about MJ. That I don't think he knew her at all. She didn't really know him. Sean tells me later, out, out of MJ's uh, sight, that MJ is a sex fiend, a sex maniac, and he's been fired from his jobs due to sexual assault or sexual harassment. Why would Sean tell me this? Okay, so she goes, she goes until she meets them. Everything's seemingly going all right. I'm like, no, I'm not, we're not friends. I don't know you. I don't know you. And I think she's actually up in their room or something like that. I don't trust those guys. They lie. They, they cover up everything. You still know the difference between right and wrong when you act this way. He tried to kiss me a few times. The second time, I nearly had to hit him in the face. I pushed him away. It was just, no, and he kept getting angrier and angrier. He's grabbing on me and... Yeah, like grabbing her hair and shit and trying to get her to kiss him and... And he wouldn't stop touching me. He was rubbing on me. He was uh, grabbing my legs very forcefully. He was trying to, like, almost force himself on her. I don't know, there was other people standing around. We're, we're watching him do this. And the one thing that bothers me more than anything is that nobody around when all this shit was going on did jack fucking shit. You can't keep covering this stuff up. Guess what? It's going to happen again. Fuck the police. Yeah. If I would have witnessed something like that, I, that was one of those occasions where I probably could have got locked up actually for doing something. Because that's just, you just don't do shit like that. I wasn't, I wasn't mad at him. I wasn't interested. I was trying to text people. I was trying to, I was do. My mind was not on having sex with MJ or anybody else there. That's like I was saying before, like, who's the person that's more at fault here? The motherfucker that does the stuff or the motherfucker that just sits back and lets it go on and doesn't do anything about it? You're lying about your friend. That's a serious uh, offense. Ultimately, what we were trying to do was just help her get her word out about what happened. If he... If he if I would have went alone with him like he was constantly after me about, constantly saying he just needed to get me alone, just needed to get me alone, and wanting, he propositioned me to go to my hotel room, not like what Sean is saying, and I was told that if I do make a video and I say anything about this, hey, guess what? MJ said that he would deny everything and that I didn't have proof. Let's face it, Uncle Bell. I mean, they've got a lot of subscribers on YouTube. They've got a ton those subscribers on YouTube. I guess I'll just keep it to myself. Um, I mean, I don't know how you feel about the source of where your entertainment comes from, but to me, I don't want anything to do with anybody like that. And Sean even told me that I have a, a good following on YouTube, and he's telling MJ to, to be careful because I could make a video and expose him. Look, we don't know what happened, ultimately. That's what I wanted to get across here. I'm sick of this. I guarantee you, not one single time did any of us ever say that because it's not true. It's not funny.